Hello everyone, welcome to 30 minutes learning. Today we are going to discuss about how to use action feed in UA5. So you already know about buttons. So in this section we are going to use this button. If you click then it will show that action feed. I will show you demo how it will look and so see it's a one button if you click this button it will open that action, action sheet then in the action sheet you see lot of buttons you can bind more buttons it's a dynamic way okay let's uh, go to create a new project to see the action go to web ID and right click that top URL then you can see that project from template just select that one then select that SAP UEFI application then click next here you need to give the project name so uh, project name action sheet so namespace dev then click next and finish it's probably take a few seconds to complete okay it's completed just expand our project folder then you can see that web app inside the web app you can see that view controller click that view controller uh, view.xml here we're going to create one new button so button text we're going to give it action okay so title action sheet you can give the title in this way or uh, we can use that i18 in folder if you see that i18 in folder click that i18 in properties then you see the title here if you change it's same it's repeated Okay. Then we're going to give you one event. Press event. So event name. We can give on action. And we need to give ID for this button. Then only we can bind our button to action sheet. So, I'm going to give ID, ID, button, action. So, this is my button ID. Just save and open the controller. Here, we're going to create our new event we already create a one event called on action so this one we're going to create here so new function we created inside the function we're going to get our button information so I'm going to define one variable button this dot get view by ID so here you need to give that button ID then all controller it will bind to this variable then we can use this uh, button variable for open our action sheet okay so next variable I'm going to use 
action set so here we need to dynamically create our action set so before creating this dynamic one you need to know about what are the properties present in the action sheet then only you can create dynamic yourself form so i am suggest you to look at sap uefi sdk or uh, open uefi sdk so this will look like uh, this okay so initially you can see this uh, way then you just select that api reference then give our filter information so in this video we are going to discuss about the action sheet so give that action sheet this is the sap m action sheet this one we are going to use click here check that namespace it's a um, sap m is a namespace and the uh, action sheet is a class okay this everything we needed okay so go to our web id here we are going to create a um, new action sheet so new namespace first you need to tell sap m dot action sheet If you type it will uh, suggest sometimes you can use this auto suggestion if it is not uh, give any suggestion you type it your own self okay then remove everything here we can bind our properties and uh, aggregations so it's almost um, look like some object in a JSON formation only So first we look at our uh, properties. What are the properties present here? It will initially show in this way. It's no problem. If you select this show borrowed properties, you can get lot of properties for your future uh, reference. Just uh, in this video, we need just a uh, title and um, aggregations uh, button aggregation. It's enough to show this uh, demo. So I'm going to take this properties title so title name action sheet or uh, select select any action So we create one properties. So next we are going to bind some aggregations. This aggregation name called buttons. So buttons, it's act as a array. So I'm going to give you um, brackets like this. Okay. Inside the bracket, I'm going to create new buttons. So we already know that button properties. So it's always SAP M button. And we know that text property. So this one called button one. And we can give that plus event also. Event also you can give function. You can write something console dot log button one rest. So next, we 
we going to create another one button SAPM button text property button 2 um, even you need to create a new function here button to press button. so next we're going to create a, another one button SAPM dot button give it text properties called the button name button three and um, action press event so it's a function so inside we can we can give it console log to check that our action is triggered. So button three press it. Okay. We almost create that action sheet. So next uh, final step we need to bind our action sheet to this button so just save then we are going to use this variable then open open by then op controller instead of we can use the our button variable or button okay finish now we can check our application just select that your project name and run that application and select index.html click ok okay so we see our button is present so this button we created using this xml view so if you click this button then we need to get some three button names button one button two button three okay let test click see now it will show that action sheet with some buttons you can create more buttons if you want okay in this way you can duplicate multiple buttons and you can give it action also so function also you can give dynamic way instead of its inbuilt functionality you can give dynamic functions so let's check our function is trigger so for trigger if you need to see we give that console log right so click that f12 or um, right click your browser and uh, inspect then it will show this developer window then click that console okay clear everything here then click the action click any one of the button i'm not i'm going to click that button 2 so button 2 event it's triggered so button 2 it's pressed so this log it will show now now we test our third button and first button so everything it's working it's good so instead of a lock we can use some messages so now we see how to use a default message SAP given some toast uh, to toast options to show some messages so now we're going to use message toast 
okay this namespace we going to use go to our controller.js file then bind our new classes so here you need to if you see it's a namespace and the class so uh, okay it's a namespace full it's namespace it's not class so sapm.message stores it's a namespace this namespace you need to give it's a slash not dot okay don't forget to change a dot to slash then on it will work okay then you need to give us some name in the function input variable it's called um, message toast so I'm giving some shortcut then use this message toast dot show and give it message button one press it. Um, okay, I think it's semicolon missing. Okay, just copy and change that button value. It's a two under three, so remove that lock. So actually you don't need to use this uh, console log for uh, viewing the any log information. I already give that how to use SAP native logs. If you don't see please look at my previous videos. I already explain about this logs. Okay. Now we're going to test our application with message toast. Refresh. This time you, d you don't need to go any developer console. So select any one of the button, it will toast here. See it will work. We did. Okay. Okay guys, thank you. So if you think this video is useful for you, then please write some comment in the below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And make sure to click bell icon and turn on the notification for my future videos. Thank you. Bye.